My name is Julian Maher, I'm a 34 year old Sydney artist. Um, this is some of my work here that I painted for the Melbourne Art Fair. Uh, they're sort of male still lives um, and um, it's a sort of series I've been doing for quite a number of years now about modern day masculinity and, and playing around with colour theory and pink and blue and colour associations of, of what, um, what it is to be an Australian man essentially. Um, this work for me is a bit of a progression in the sense that I'm um, using watercolours, using oils a lot more like watercolours now, much more sort of delicate um, and pared back, and much more minimal and very thin application of oil paint. I'm sort of looking, trying to get a very traditional watercolour effect with the oils. I think someone actually came up to me and, and said, oh, who's, who's this artist, what's her name? And um, that, for me, that was a good thing. I thought, oh, that's, I'm getting the look that I want. You know, I'd want to paint like an aggressive, sort of thick oil paint, male, young male artist. I want to try and get these delicate works about, about men. So that's the sort of, not to be too conceptual or anything and um, talk too much about the work, but that's, that's the direction everything's heading in at the moment. Yeah, I think over the years I'm um, getting a little bit better now at not overworking the, the, the painting so much. I'm, I'm starting to be a bit more confident, a little bit more mature in the mark making and a lot more patient in letting a, letting a work uh, um, grow a lot more slowly instead of trying to um, finish it too quickly and overpaint it. And it's, it's quite hard, it's almost the real decisions of what not to paint almost rather than what to actually paint. And, but the good thing is the technique that I'm doing now, where I, the the um, the medium that I'm using to get this watercolor effect, you actually can't overwork it. You can you can actually brush it a few times and smear it, and then if you keep working on it, it takes the paint off again. It ruins the look. So it's actually quite nice. The process has forced me to be to have a bit more of a freshness to the work and a bit more of the happy accident and. Um, which I think I need, otherwise I'll just keep painting them and, over and ruining them. So I can sort of have to paint them and then leave them, which is good. Yeah, it's just something I sort of fell into. I, I paint a lot of tattoos and male rituals and I paint a lot of portraits. Um, I painted a portrait series of men crying and um, look, there's a, element, a lot of element of humour in my work and um, you know, my dad wears a lot of pink and I used to get teased a lot of school because of that and so that's why all the shadows are pink, you know, only real men wear pink and, and look, it, the colours that I love using, I love painting still lives and you know, I'm essentially, I'm essentially happy painting any, anything, you know. So I paint portraits and paint these still lives and anything that I can keep working on every day in the studio, whatever gets me excited, that's what I sort of end up, end up, end up working on. Our studio is in uh, Surrey Hills. It's sort of, it's a collective. We've had the same group of artists um, for the last eight years there. We've got four artists and three writers as well, which is um, actually quite good. We all bounce off each other. Um, the other artists have very different styles and techniques. One's a collage artist. Jasper's, you know, heavy um, enamel, aggressive house paint, um, industrial materials. So we're all very different styles, but we've we've been friends for a long time. I went to primary school and high school with Jasper, so we, you know, it's it's really good having a having um, having other artists around you to walk past and say, you know, don't overwork it, leave it, you know, and bounce ideas off, which is good. I wish my studio was neater. Um, my work's pretty clinical and pretty pared back, and I like I like empty space, and so my area is probably the cleanest, but it could be a lot better. <laughs> Yeah, look, I always get very nervous. I don't like really talking about my work. I think you should, uh, most artists shouldn't talk too much about the work, even though I've just talked way too much, um, which I'm probably going to regret now. But I like letting the work paint, um, you know, speak for itself. You know, it's, you shouldn't have to explain too much about about your work. You should instinctively, someone should like it or and understand sort of where it's what it's about. But look, Melbourne Art Fair is great. It's a great exposure. We're very proud to be down here. Um, there's some other great artists showing in the stalls, so yeah, it's been a really good week.
My highlights for me at the moment is Kilpixie show um, with the Drina Collette Gallery. I've been following Mark's work for a while. He's an LA-based artist, but he's just this series that he's done for Melbourne Art Fair is, is a stepped up a notch for him. I don't know if you've filmed any of it, but it's, it's beautiful work. I can't go up there because I'm going to buy one, so I'm staying down here.